What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're doing well today. We're going to be doing the disassembly and maintenance of my QSP vault. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, we are down on the table here with the QSP vault. Um, I know it's a little hard to see that, I think, on the mat. Actually, I think the lighting's okay. I think we're going to be all right. Um, I do have all my tools linked down in the description below. I'm going to grab my T6 just in case. Yeah, those are T6s. So we hot bits are the tool of choice for me, and hops gun oil is the choice of lube for me. Again, applicator lube, all of that linked down there for you in the description. Um, I'm hoping everything disassembles from the uh, pocket clip side, but with this one, because the pocket clip is rear mounted, I am going to go ahead and take that off just to make sure I can get to everything that I need. So all steel hardware, my magnets are going to work fantastic here for the disassembly. I'm going to start by removing the scales. I anticipate hidden hardware to be found behind. Ooh, that is Loctite. And this is another reason why I recommend Weeha bits. They are hardened steel bits that do hold up very well. And thankfully, QSP does do a very good job with their button style screws. They're very well machined and very easy to get to. So you got two more here. I'm going to go ahead and move the, oops, move the scale here and put that hardware to the side. These look like they are T8 now for the main hardware bolts just kidding they're still t6s they looked bigger though for real all right so we're going to go ahead and i'm thinking i'm thinking actually we need to take this bolster off first i think the bolster is also sitting on top of the steel scale and the reason i want to look at that is because i want to see if it is, yeah, it is a bolster. So you can get to the cover here, and I think this might just slide off, guys. Let's see. Um, and that does slide. So let me see if I can try to use the actual... Oh, that's right. I said it was T6. And I'm still trying to do it with a T8. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Very good. No thread locker, just hand-tightened into the steel side and thankfully they came out very easily let's see now if this will just lift off or if i need to do there we go yep so it just pops off and i think i think is that carbon fiber it looks like carbon fiber so we're getting some definite explanation, I feel like, as to what some of the costs went into with this one here. So I'm trying to be very careful with my Omega spring. I don't want it to break, but she is definitely not coming off easily. Oh, and you see what I mean there? She started to bend on me. Let me try. Let's try uh actually let me grab one of my cleaning q-tips and see if i can get in there right, so i got my screwdriver now let's try just to push it off there we go that made it so much easier guys hopefully my omega spring is okay doesn't feel like it's damaged. I've never had that much of an issue getting one off before. Um, but let's go ahead and finish the disassembly. So we are looking at steel liners that the bearings ride on directly. We are looking at a 5 millimeter with very, very tight tolerances. 5 millimeter. These are the thinner bearings on here. Um, truth be told... The action on here is really good, so I'm just going to keep the stamp bearings on here, but upgrading to a set of skiffs would really improve the smooth feel of them and how solid it is in the pivot. But what I have found with these really thin, these are like the 5mm, 1mm bearings, 
these really do work phenomenally. You can go a little bit tighter with these. They ride really smooth. Um, there's not as much gapping going on and you can run a thinner blade stock on here as well. So very smooth. I'm just going to make sure that the lock interface and the pivot and everything are very smooth and you can see it is machined so that you let me grab a flashlight so you can see that i don't think you can see that it is machined so that that omega spring goes hold on let me go this way that omega spring goes in that one spot on that crossbar lock so so that you can see that all right let me finish cleaning this up and from here you should be able to just reassemble it in the reverse order um did i clean both of these thought i did i'm just double checking it yep yep they're both clean all right so we're going to start with the hops gun oil again my lube of choice and i am going to start with just a little on the pivot and what i do from there is let me pull that spring back a little i just work it on it's a little tight for me to get my finger on and then I'll go ahead and lube up the bearings and the bearings are pocketed so that the open side face the blade itself so you can see it is milled so that the pocket is lipped there and what that does is it allows the let me move this back a little. Oh, I don't want that to fall off. Oh, is that D-shaped facing right? Yeah, it's facing forward. It moved a little on me, though. Or did it? Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, got it. All right, so I'm going to move the uh, crossbar lock a little bit there, and then that'll allow me to get the blade into place, and then I'll set everything back down so you guys can see. Um, I know I do it upside down. I don't know why I do it that way. I think it just happens to be the way that everything comes to comes apart. Just a little bit easier for me to work this way. It's so weird. I know. I know. I know. All right. Now we can put everything back together keep in mind that your crossbar lock needs to go over both so that the omega spring goes in there that stop pin fits in there why is it not fitting Ooh. there we go now she's cooking all right so I'm actually going to reinstall the hardware here and it totally, uh, it's steel. It should stick to, actually, I don't think my bit, I think that is one of the disadvantage. Oh no, it is magnetized. I was like, I don't think this has magnets, but it really does. And that'll make it really easy to reinstall. Okay. Um, it wasn't super tight to get these out. I think the little dab of thread locker that's on there kept them from backing out. But truth be told, I don't think I've ever had issues with these once it's tightened down. All right, so we'll go ahead and now we're going to reinstall the spring first, which may be a little bit of a challenge because of how hard it was to get it off. And let me move it back on screen so that you guys can see me struggle with it live and in living color. All right. Oh, and I don't have a strong enough fingernail for that. Oops. I realized I realized what's happening now. Uh, my problem is the little bent tip that goes into the lock. Oh, I can just see this jabbing into my thumb. There we go. Oh, no. Is it in? Yeah, it's in. And then we'll put that here. And oh, my lithium is that downstairs or did I bring that upstairs? That's glue, that's our washers. I need to bring that lithium up here. What is this? Is this a heavier weight? 
Nah, the hops would be better. Um, I do use like a lithium grease grease normally here, but I'm just going to go ahead and put a little dab of grease there where the bolster will cover anyway. Um, and that should keep everything in good standing. And then I need to put the cover back on. The thumb stud cover. And that dropped right on there. And then we'll cover the cover cover. The cover, 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 cover. And now we can go ahead and start to reassemble in the final phase here. So this should go right on. No issues. It was pretty snug. All right. And then the last two screws for the reassembly here. And then we can put the pocket clip back in. So again, the button top screws. I'm going to start with the middle bolster. All right. And then we'll do the last one. And we'll do the pocket clip last. And that should be everything. We're nice and we're nice and snug for the uh, pivot, so I don't think we need to do anything there. All right, no movement there. Maybe a little tight. Let's see. I'm doing little adjustments, guys. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, yeah, that's nice and smooth, guys. Let me clean all this up, and we'll wrap up the disassembly video. All right, guys, that is your disassembly and maintenance for your QSP vault. Um, I had given this a 6.8 in the full review video i did the disassembly after and that's about what i expected if you wanted you could knock a point off for the disassembly just because crossbar locks are so involved as far as the disassembly but truth be told the uh quality of the construction on here was done very well it has remained solid lockup no issues whatsoever it feels even smoother now with the cleaning and my hops gun oil on here um just really loving this one a ton i hope this helped you in case you wanted to do disassembly maintenance again five millimeter one millimeter skiff bearings will fit in the pivot on this one it is the skinnier bearings and that's really it for this one hope you enjoyed it if you did help me out with a like on your way out a comment would really help the algorithm too i love you guys and i hope you have a fantastic week i'll catch you on the next one peace